Good afternoon. Uh, we're going to uh, talk more about the fact of the differences between the church and the nation of Israel or Yasharel and uh, explain more in depth about the differences and the purposes of these different groups of people. As I've stated before, uh, one of the major um, misunderstandings about end time events is that people do not understand the differences of the different groups of people that our creator, Yahuwah, has different purposes and destinies for different groups of people. And uh, I'm going to start off reading um, from some of my notes here just to sort of have a, a foundation here. Um, then this is, talks about a different origin. Israel came in came to be through a sovereign act of Yahuwah, creating a nation out of the direct descendants of Abraham. Genesis chapter 12, verse 2. Later, he narrowed this down to include only those who came through Isaac. Genesis chapter uh, 26, verses 3 through 5. And Jacob, Genesis 28, verses 13 through 15. Theirs is a national covenant conditioned upon obedience. And you'll find that, of course, in Exodus chapter 19, verses 3 through 6. The church, talking about the church, the difference, the church consists of individual members from every nation, born again, Jew and Gentile believers in Messiah and Mashiach. Uh, they come from every tribe, people, and language who have been adopted directly into the family of Yahuwah based upon personal belief that Yahusha died for our sins and rose again. John chapter 1, verses 12 and 13. You'll find that in also Galatians chapter 4, verses 4 through 7, and Romans chapter 10, verse 9 through 10. Uh, ours, are talking about the church, is a personal covenant conditioned upon faith. You could say that Yahuwah's position with Israel or Yasharel is based on a national religion, but his position with the church is based upon a personal relationship. Now that explains a little bit about the difference between the church and the nation of Israel. Uh, I've shared many times, but I, it does, this bears repeating because uh, people come in that are new on, on different videos and they don't have a, a basic understanding of, of again, that the church began on the day of Shavuot or, or, or Pentecost. And it was when the Holy Spirit, the Ruach HaKadosh was poured out upon the believers in the upper room and 120 were baptized in the, into the Ruach HaKadosh and received the gift of the set apart spirit or the, of the, uh, Ruach HaKadosh. And that was the beginning of the uh, of what we call or refer to as the church. Now, again, a lot of people have a problem with the church. The church actually is an English word, and the, the uh, Greek word is ekklesia, and the Hebrew word is kahel. But the meaning of the, of the word is, is assembly of, of believers, assembly of a group of people. Now, we talked about the fact is in Matthew chapter 16 that Yahusha, the Messiah, Mashiach, um, asked his disciples, who do men say that I am? And they all began to say certain people, the prophets that he, he, that people referred to him as. But he said, but who do you say that I am? And then Peter said, or Kepha, that is his name in Hebrew, said, thou art the Christ or the Mashiach, the son of the living Elohim, the son of the living God, he said. And Yahushua said, Flesh and blood did not reveal this unto you, Peter, but my Father, which is in heaven, has revealed it. Now, how did the Father reveal it to him? He revealed it by the Spirit. And he said that, he said, he told Peter and the, and the, and the disciples that were there, he said, upon this rock, I will build my assembly, or the word is church here in the English translation, but in, in Greek it would be ecclesia and the Hebrew would be kahel. But again, it means assembly. And Yahushua said, I'll build my assembly upon this rock. Now, he wasn't talking about building the church upon Peter. He's talking about building the, the church upon that a rock represents a foundation. And he's talking about a foundation of the fact of who he was. Peter recognized who he was, and he declared with his mouth, 
Thou art the Mashiach, the son of the living God, or the son of the living Elohim. And Yahushua said, you know, because he had received that revelation, he said that upon that revelation, he was, Mashiach, Yahushua, was going to build his assembly. So that when I talk about the church, don't get all bent out of shape and thinking I'm about and talking about, say, a church building or, or Christianity or anything like that. I'm talking about born again Jew and Gentile believers who put their faith and recognize who the Messiah is and have put their faith and trust in him. Yahushua declared, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man comes unto the Father except through me. So you, ha so with you and I, of people understanding that, whether you're a Gentile or Jew, you are considered by our creator, Yahuwah, part of this assembly. And so that's what I'm talking about. We're not, in, you're not Israel. You're not, at, uh, you know, and in, in a Jew that, that, is, that believes this, and he's no longer considered by Yahuwah as a Jew. He's considered part of the church. And so I'm trying to help you to understand this and so that you'll understand better in end time events how things are going to unfold and things that just apply to the church, you'll be able to understand that. And things that apply to Israel or Yasharel, you'll be able to understand that. Israel is in blindness for the most part. There, you know, in, in, in comparison to, you know, as far as the uh, Yahushua, in fact, Yahushua told uh, the religious leaders of that day of the Jews, he said that the, that because of they, them not recognizing the time of his visitation, in other words, it was prophesied in the book of Daniel when the Mashiach would come, and they failed to recognize him whom the Father has sent. He said he had come in his Father's name, and they rejected that. And they, they did not believe him. They did not receive him as the Mashiach. And so because of that, blindness has, has happened to the, for the most part to the nation of Yasharel or Israel. Now I know and realize there are, are a, a certain amount of Yahudin or Jews who have put their faith in the, in the Mashiach. Some refer to themselves as Messianic Jews, but really that, that's not in the Bible. Uh, you're part of the church. You, you, I know you want to, to retain some of your Jewishness and, and your custom and so forth. But the fact is, you have to understand that you're not uh, in the sight of Yahuwah. You're part of the church now. You're part because you have received the, the Messiah, Yahusha. And you have a certain destiny and that Yahuwah has for you and I who are part of the church. We are, will be and will, are the bride of the Mashiach. And uh, now just... Uh, Yahuwah has not forgotten the nation of Yasharel or Israel. He still has a plan and purpose for them. Uh, and we're going to talk about that as we, as we go further in, into this study. And, um, but that's why a lot of people don't believe in the rapture because they don't understand the purpose of the rapture. And they don't understand the purpose of the, the, of the 70 weeks or the seven, 70, 70 weeks of Daniel. Don't, don't understand that Yahuwah plans to finish those 70 weeks, 69 weeks of, of, of Daniel's uh, prophecy uh, has been fulfilled. Uh, Mashiach was cut off, and at that time, the, the 69 weeks of that Daniel's prophecy ended. So there's seven weeks or seven years still uh, ahead for the nation of Yasharel. And we're going to talk about the purpose of that. And we're going to talk about how that Yahuwah plans to uh, once the fullness of the Gentiles has come in, then he's going to start dealing with the nation of Yasharel again. Uh, unfortunately, th through this time of Jacob's trouble, there's going to be two thirds of the of the nation of Yasharel or Israel that's going to perish. But he's going to bring one third through through this time frame, and they as a whole will turn. And finally, near the near the uh, the end of this seven year tribulation, they're going to look on or call upon him whom they have pierced. And he's going to come to their rescue. And then all the nation of Yasharel at that point will be saved. And so these are some of the things we're going to talk about as we go through our study on this. Um, thank you for your, uh, your help and your comments. And thank you for your encouragement. Um, and uh, let me know, by the way, uh, you know, uh, share with others um, what you're learning and, and encourage others to uh to, to learn what we're, we're sharing with you. Thank you for your time today. Until next time, shalom.